What is up? I'm out here in the boat. As you guys can see, I'm getting stuff ready for Sandusky. So I'm leaving Sunday, the 31st. And I'm gonna head up there and get some stuff rigged. But I wanted to show you something that's coming out real soon from J Bros. You guys have heard me talk about J Bros. You see me post stuff if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook talking about J Bros. And I wanna show you exactly what they got coming. I think it's gonna be huge. Um, I'm going to show you guys real quick. Like I said, this is something that's coming. It's something I'm happy to have in my possession before this tournament. So let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. Many of you may or may not know, but J Bros is a soft plastics lure company that I have teamed up with this year. And they've got some exceptional, exceptional baits and make a lot of cool different baits. Um, Trifinity being the, my favorite bait they make is a Trifinity worm. Uh, but what I'm going to show you today is something that uh, they've got coming. Okay. So everybody knows. As like Larry like to say, a tube is a tube is a tube, right? So I'm not gonna pull out a traditional tube. You know what a tube looks like. This is the J Bros tube, okay? You guys can see that. It looks a lot different than what you would normally see as a traditional tube. Uh, this color here is their Captain's Marked Magic, uh, but this is a J Bros tube. This is their four inch Sentinel tube. And the reason why they call it the Sentinel, it looks like a Sentinel from the matrix i believe is what it's from but anyways this is a sentinel tube it's a hollow body tube as you guys can see there it's a hollow body tube um and it's a very durable tube it's not like a z-man elastic kind of stretchy but it has some stretch to it but it also has a lot of a lot of strength and what i like about this head design is that it's a lot bigger and bulkier and the reason why i like that is what i'm going to show you that's coming out next so this is a four inch tube what they've got coming and what I'm excited about having for this tournament is this little 2.87 tube. So there's a four inch in the small baby tube. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you real quick what I like to use to rig these tubes up and you'll see why exactly I like this thicker head and this bigger bulkier head design. If any of you guys throw a tube already, you probably know what I'm getting ready to do. Um, but yeah, it's pretty neat, so stay tuned. So what I got here is I've got a bag of uh, Bite Me, these are the big dudes. These are the juniors. This is a 3 8 Gobi head. So I get them in the bulk packs because you are going to lose them. So this is the hook. So as you can see there, that hook there has kind of a Gobi style head shape on it. Okay. So what I like to do is, is take my time. Sometimes you got to lube these suckers up to get them in here, but a lot of times you don't have to. So we're going to stick her in there, boys. And with these tubes, like I said, they, they got a little bit of more strength. You know, they don't tear as easy, which is awesome as far as fish catches. Um, but it seems like this smaller tube size has became popular over the last couple of years. You know, with the Ned rig and everything coming out, a lot of people are going with a lot of more finesse. A lot of guys that didn't use spinning rods back in the day are using spinning rods now because they see how strong a finesse presentation can be. Um, and like I said, this is something I'm very excited to have, especially right before we go to Sandusky on Lake Erie. I think this is gonna be a huge player for me. So let's get this on here. I like, you know, to get my shit nice and straight, you know? So, okay. So we got her on there. So I got the hook popped through, or the eye popped through right there. But, as you guys can see, that's the Gobi presentation, right? Now do you see why I like that head? That head, if you can see there, it has some little nodules on it got some texture to it and you know when you use a tube what are you going to be doing you're going to be running that tube down and you're going to be banging it or dragging it across the bottom right you're going to be hopping it you know as we call it here in kentucky we call it like uh, ripping a tube or you know just dragging it and uh that's what i'm going to be mainly doing on lake area is dragging this thing uh you know with the current and everything but with that head design i've got to play with these a little bit okay i'm not going to sit here and give you some kind of fake gimmick uh but what i've noticed with this head is that being that it's a little bit thicker of a head, I'll get the big one here to kind of show you. Being that it's a little bit thicker of a head, it has a little bit more meat there. And I, I apologize about the sound in the background, the yard's getting mowed, uh, but it has a little bit more meat in the head. And what that's good for is that when you're banging this tube against the rocks, you know, the bottom, the structure that you're fishing, it allows this tube to last a lot longer. And when you shove these bigger hooks in here, these Gobi style hooks, in this tube it doesn't cause it to rip if any of you guys fish a tube you know that's the biggest thing you gotta like spit on the thing before you shove it in there uh, no pun intended but anyways yeah so i mean that's to me 
the design of their tubes with these legs. Uh, if you guys go check out J Bros on Instagram or Facebook and YouTube, I'll put the links in the description below, but you guys can check them out. He does a lot of videos. And the good thing about J Bros is that Larry goes live quite a bit on Instagram and he looks for anglers input. That's what kind of sold me on it with him was that he was open to ideas. He was open to, you know, taking something and being able to, you know, say, hey, you know, what about doing this and playing with it? So that's huge. That's huge. I think that's awesome to be able to interact with your customers and uh, take customers input. So, but with these legs, what I like about this is when this tube goes to the bottom, all right, you know, a lot of tubes will go to the bottom and when they get down there, they usually just lay down, right? They do like that on the bottom. They're just laying there. With J Bros and the plastic he uses, the Plastisol, this tube has some buoyancy to it. And what's perfect about that buoyancy is that these little legs, all these little appendages are sitting there just dancing. And you know, this imitating a goby feeding on the bottom, uh, this could be imitating a crawl or a cray of some sort feeding on the bottom. And with those legs up there moving and, and oscillating like they do, it gives kind of like either a defense posture or you know um, some kind of movement and a lot of times like with a ned rig i mean you look how simple a ned rig can be and with that ned rig that little bit of movement on the bottom you know keys those fish in a lot of times if you get to watch any underwater footage of a fish feeding on a ned rig or a tube they come up there and they kind of look at it and they're kind of inspecting it you know this is something you're using very slow it's a finesse technique and um but yeah these tubes are just downright awesome in my opinion and like I said, these are the J Bros. These are the new ones coming out. I believe they're like a 2.87 size. And then he also has the four inch. So it's definitely a lot different. You know, like Larry says, a tube is a tube is a tube. He was trying to figure out what he could do different to create something that's not out there. And I think he nailed it right on the head. And I want to do is I want to kind of show you how I like to rig this tube as far as my rod, line, and all that stuff. So let's, let me show you that. All right, so this is what I have my tube on, okay? This is a Dobbins Champion. And this is a 733 uh, SF. This rod is an awesome rod for uh, small finesse jigs, shaky heads, and all that stuff. It's a medium fast action, it's a seven foot three. And the reason I wanted that longer rod for this presentation, I don't necessarily use a long rod every time, but I'm gonna be out in open water. I'm trying to get as, as long a cast as I can um, and you know work this bait back to the boat. So. Uh, as far as my reel goes, this is a uh, Shimano uh, Sahara 3000 size. Um, I've got a lot more Dobbins rods and reels and I've uh, been getting to the Stratics. Really liking the Stratics, but as far as my line, of course, this braid's a little bit old, so don't pay attention to the color, but this is the Seaguar Smackdown 15 pound braid. And I've got that teamed up with some eight pound Seaguar and Vizex. Um, like I said, this is, I don't throw a tube a lot, okay? There's instances where I like to throw a tube, especially when I get around a small mouth, I'm going to be playing with the tube a lot more this year as far as like doing stuff in Florida with it that I'm looking forward to with punching and everything. Uh, but this is what I've got this set up on. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be the setup you guys use, but this is the reason why I'm using it. I'm using that longer rod because we're going to be in open water. I'm trying to get, you know, a long, good cast and uh, work that bait back to the boat and have the sensitivity I need. And with the Dobbins Champion Series, you know, there's definitely sensitivity there. Uh, Dobbins has a lot of awesome rods on the market. Um, the other rods I use quite a bit are the Cadence Series. If you guys are not familiar with the Cadence Series, these are the Cadence Series. These are more of a price point rod as far as if you're balling on a budget. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the rods that I have in the Cadence Series are the 712s, and they're the split grip. Um, and I run the 2500 uh, Shimano Stratix. Of course, you can see this is set up with a drop shot, uh, which I'm going to be changing. But And again, 15-pound Smackdown. This is a little bit heavier line because I was using that here in brush piles in Kentucky. So this is 10 pound Seaguar and Vizex on here. So, but yeah, I wanted to get on here real quick and show you guys these awesome tubes and um, how I'm gonna be using them. I'm looking forward to getting to play with them a little bit and experiment with them. Like I said, they're pretty pretty neat in the sense of, you know, their design and everything, but definitely go check out J Bros. J Bros has a lot of awesome baits. Like I said, my favorite bait they make so far is the Trifinity Worm. Uh, but he's got Ned's too. We got some stuff coming. I wish it's stuff I could tell you guys about, but there's some awesome baits coming that he's got in the works right now that are being machined for molds and all that stuff. But like I said, go in the description below, click on the link. I'll have his Facebook, his YouTube, and his Instagram. Go check out J Bros. Give them guys a like and uh, stay tuned. You know, I mean, maybe we're going to win $50,000 on this bait right here. That'd be awesome. So, yeah. 
We're gonna try this sucker. Stop number five of the MPFL on Sandusky Bay. But yeah, look at that. Mmm.